quadrilateral cowboy is an indie puzzler that's filled with new and interesting ideas. Developer Blendo Games' last release was 30 Flights of Loving, an excellent narrative-driven compact experience. 30 Flights pushed you through a heist-style adventure at such a pace that you never even had a chance to stop playing. Oh, I just loved that little game, Hex. It was refreshing how it kept the plot moving with all those jump cuts. Yeah, it was crazy. This new game is quite different, though, and much meatier experience. Quadrilateral Cowboy doesn't have the same narrative focus as 30 Flights, but you can see slivers of that design within what is quite a unique puzzle game. You're part of an underground hacking team. Set in a bleak world, we get the impression the Earth has been ruined. People live in tiny homes and the air is sometimes unbreathable, which plays into some of the puzzles. You begin with a very simple train robbery, which then leads you to your hideout. After building a computer resembling the days of old, you then begin a series of heists. That's another theme this developer is fond of, but these heists are much more puzzle-focused and it doesn't hold your hand too much. Yeah, but at the same time, I think these puzzles are really achievable. Solving them is a delightfully fiddly, tactile experience based around typing lines of code and combining various gadgets. You're always carrying around a terminal, which lets you type in proper pseudo-Unix hacking commands. Within a few minutes of this hex, I was totally on board. Yeah, at first I was like, whoa, I actually have to type out command lines, but the game increases the difficulty at the perfect pace so you never feel overwhelmed. Initially, it's just opening doors or hatches. Then it's getting through alarmed doors, which can only be opened for three seconds. After that, you'll be disabling cameras, lasers, adding delays to your commands, so it gets nice and complex without being painful or tedious. Yeah, and what I liked so much about all the typing, hacking, terminal stuff is that you can see this added complexity there for people who want to speedrun this or try and beat your friend's times. And the game encourages this by integrating leaderboards into your hideout terminals and also letting you leave notes, Dark Souls style, for other players in your friends list. What a great idea. Yeah, I loved that. But the game isn't all typing commands to open doors. You also type commands to move an adorable little robot-like dog called a weevil. It's essentially a remote hacking tool, but most of those puzzles are pretty simple and enjoyable. Yeah, there's also jump pads and a deployable suitcase gun, which you use to open doors, mostly. A lot of the puzzles are just about opening doors, but it's fine. Although those physics-based controls are a bit cumbersome. It's not that it's complicated or really awkward, but I just found whenever I was trying to pick up something, I'd rotate it by accident or put it down, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, objects tend to fall over a bit when you put them down. At least in the story sections, which have a few little puzzles of their own, that fiddliness is taken care of for you. But the game also lets you noclip. Yeah, that really threw me at first. If you don't know what noclipping is, it basically means that you can pass through the walls and see an entire level from any different angle. You can't actually teleport your character to that area, but it's just another way of looking at a puzzle. But it kind of works for a puzzle game like this. Yeah, it just allows you to get a different perspective on the puzzle. And it becomes really important later on because you're controlling two team members at once. First, you have to scope out points of interest, then switch between two team members to gradually make your way through the levels. It reminded me a bit of those Shadow Rewind puzzles from Braid that still haunt me to this day, but it's nowhere near as hard as that. Your movements are recorded, and when you switch teammates, the other members' movements begin to play out, and then you switch around again. It took me longer than I'd like to admit to work all that out. <laughs> yeah, me too. The game does have a help manual with some heist notes, but, you know, part of the fun is just working things out on your own. So I don't think we should say anything more about the puzzles, Bajo. Yeah, I agree. One thing we should point out is that this game is completely open. You can do the puzzles in any order you like, which is awesome. Yeah, I mean, normally when you get to a puzzle and you can't find the solution, you get really frustrated and you just rage quit. Yeah. But here you can move on. Yeah, that's great. I even got ideas from like later puzzles to go back and do earlier puzzles and solve them based on what I played later on. I wish more puzzle games did this. I also love that they included a developer commentary and they're pretty rare in games, but I find them so fascinating. There was one early example where they talked about the use of color and how they reserved green and orange for interactive items. And that meant that they couldn't use those colors really in anything else. But also that that constraint was actually really good from a designer's point of view because they had less choices to make when building a room. Yeah, dev commentaries offer such an interesting perspective. And some of that stuff may seem obvious when it's said out loud, but I think we as gamers don't often think about how much goes into making a room work for the player. Yeah, absolutely. And it's especially important in puzzle games. Overall, I think if you like the tone and ideas of this game, then it's definitely worth your time. Even gave me a few pangs of emotion towards the end, Hex. I'm giving it four and a half stars. 
Yeah, I enjoyed this a lot. It reminded me a little bit of Pony Island at the start, but I think it's a lot more accessible than that. Quadrilateral Cowboy will tax your brain in all the right ways. I'm giving it four. Objective complete.